auto callback. Um, this is another one of those tools. It's um, in many phone systems, this is a common feature. Um, the idea here is that I call one of my colleagues um, on their extension and either they don't answer the phone or um, it goes to voicemail or I get a busy signal, something like that, right? Where it wasn't able to complete the call because maybe that person has their presence set to something other than available uh, or they're already on the phone. So this has a couple of benefits. Um, it, it eliminates the need for me to constantly keep checking is that person that I need to communicate with off the phone now? Um, so that can be pretty tedious. I really urgently need to get a hold of this person, and I want to make sure that as soon as they're off the phone, I call them back. So it eliminates that need for me to monitor it. It ensures that as soon as the person is off the phone or has changed their presence back to available, the that I call them. Now, how, how does this happen? I, I guess we could talk a little bit about what the criteria is for this um, callback to take place. First, the person to whom I am calling must have their presence set to available. They must have a phone that is registered. They must not already be on the phone. Conversely, I also have to be available, have a phone registered, and not be on the phone. So as soon as the system sees that both of us are available, then it will initiate a call back to that person. And with any luck, we get that call uh, established as quickly as possible. Um, this is an opt-in feature. So on any extension, you can configure it, and I'll show you how to configure it, and it'll become clear what I mean when I say that this is an opt-in feature. Um, but basically, you set it up, and so if somebody doesn't want this feature where people can just instantly call them back as soon as they hand up the phone, um, they don't have to configure it. All right, so um, this does monitor both the phone status and their 3CX presence status. Okay, so let's try doing a demo of uh, 3CX auto callback. All right, so we'll close this guy and uh, 3CX auto callback. Now, there isn't a whole lot to do on this side. Most of the work is done uh, at the extension level. Again, logging in with my username and password. Extension and pin. Right. Splint on my finger from playing football with my sons, and I'm a little bit slow. All right, so there's just a couple of settings. If we can get this guy to go over there, come on. Um, and that is how long. Do I wait for the two extensions to become available? Because I don't want to request a call back on Monday. And if that person was on vacation and it set their presence to away, I don't want to have it automatically call them back three days later. That's probably a little too late. So you specify the maximum length of time that will going to monitor those two extensions for availability. So you set it to whatever you want. It's in minutes. Um, so you could set it for an hour if you wanted, or three hours, or 15 seconds. No, I guess it's just in minutes. So you can't do seconds. Yeah. The other thing, too, is that we want we don't want to overwhelm your VoIP tool server or your 3CX server by constantly poking that extension. Are you available? Is your phone registered? Are you currently on the phone? Because if you have a thousand extensions and 50 people that are waiting for a callback, that's a lot of poking of the 3CX API. So better to 
just wait a reasonable amount of time before you check again so that we don't uh, um, unduly burden the 3CX server with these queries. So that's what those two settings are about. But how do I opt in for this capability? So let's jump over here and take a look at the phone system and see if I can't show you how that works. There we go. All right, so we go to users. Oh, wait, let me show you uh, another thing here. When I installed auto callback, one of the things that the installer did is it created a call flow designer application and the application's name is callback. So now when I go to an extension and I go to Matthew and I go to forwarding rules, let's say that Whenever I would normally send a call to a voicemail box, instead, we're going to send it to that call flow designer application. So if uh, my status is available, but I don't answer within 20 seconds, then instead of forwarding it to voicemail, I'm going to forward it to a number. And I'm going to set the value to callback. Okay. And by doing this, what this means is that when a call comes in and it rings at my extension and I don't answer it for 20 seconds, it's going to forward that call to the call flow designer application. And that call flow designer application is going to ask, do you want to leave a voicemail or would you like to request an auto callback? And if they choose auto callback, that's when auto callback starts entering the two extensions and will place the call um, when it determines that both are available. So you set the criteria under which it happens. Do you want to do this? Uh, obviously, it's not applicable to external callers because I have no way of checking does some guy's cell phone, is it available? So this is all about extension to extension calls. Um, so that's usually why um, we're looking at internal calls for this purpose. You, you wouldn't want to do that for external calls because that doesn't apply. All right. So it's pretty simple to set up. You just go in, you set the criteria under which you want to do it, typically for an internal, well, always for internal calls. And then you just put callback in the name of that field. So if I don't want to give people that option for my extension, I don't set it up. If I do want to do it, then I do. And uh, so that's basically how this thing works. So with that, guys, I'm going to say thank you for your time. I do appreciate it and um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.